I started off just kind of myself making stuff. And then with a friend, I was like, hey, do you mind working with me? I need a hand with something. And then it would turn into a couple more hands and a couple more hands. So it's been just an organic process, really. This is Christopher Boots. He's an amazing light designer in Melbourne. I was obsessed with his work, so I hunted him down. And we designed this for this space to fit the size of the island. We've also got a few of his lights down in the lounge room as well. We're here in Melbourne at the Christopher Boots studio. He's one of my favourite lighting designers. Hi, I'm Christopher Boots. I make lights and have fun doing it. So a lot of people might think that the more efficient way is to do things digitally, to create it digitally, test it. I think there's a loss there of the understanding of material and I find that honesty and that application and that feeling of material is really critical because you might discover things that you couldn't find in a digital space. And I guess in that way, we're kind of a little bit unusual. There is so much trial and error in our journey, it's not funny. <laughs> But this was one of the first lights I fell in love with of yours. Called Prometheus 3. There's a series of lights called Prometheus, which are based on rings with these crystals. And Prometheus was a mortal who brought fire from the gods down to people. So for me, it's really about something that's so elemental mm. and so archetypal and so deep. And how to bring that through into a, a, a physical item that we can kind of reference and kind of walk through into a home or wherever it might mm -hmm. be and just be like, wow, that's really cool. So the combination of the crystal <clears throat> and the metal, where did that stem from? The combination of the metal and the crystal is really about making sure that the materials that are used in the work mm -hmm. are going to be more amazing mm -hmm. in 50 years time or mm -hmm. 100 years time. Mm -hmm. A lot of the design is based on longevity. Yeah, How's beautiful. it going to look in the future? Mm -hmm. When we're gone as people, mm -hmm. these things will still talk. Yeah. And they'll Amazing. tell that story. They'll last a very long time. Yeah. In the business, everything, we are reducing plastic everywhere. We're trying to replace what we can with stuff that's either fully replaceable, fully compostable, fully recyclable. Amazing. So we're on a thing now to go towards carbon negative. Now we feel that we really need to show a little bit of leadership about how we can really push that forward and prove that you can still make really great quality product and help the environment as well. Oh, so trying to line amazing. that up is, is our juggle at the moment. Amazing. How long does it take to make one of these? I could answer it by saying millions of years. <laughs> if we're really taking it back to how long it took for these crystals to grow somewhere. And I guess the imagination of possibilities is my favorite part of the process. And to see a space finished after so many years of intent and work is quite amazing to kind of witness. Like it's really super cool.